what is up guys I can't see the comments right now because my computer is booting up right now so and my phone's acting up also so I'm waiting for my computer to boot up right now at the moment thank you for tuning in if you've never seen this gameplay uh, if you don't like any of these PlayStation 2 games then you know you might want to go watch some other stream but this is actually an awesome game graphics suck because of the PlayStation 2 platform but overall, good story. They screwed the movie up, but the video game is awesome. I'm waiting for my computer to build. Any, anyways, thank you for tuning in, guys. It's been a rough week, and uh, it's going to be a rough year for me at my job. Because things are changing, and I've been thinking about quitting my job and finding something else, man. Of course, I want to not quit my job now and find another job. It's the best thing to do. But, uh, anyways, no drama onto the stream. That's just basically what I'm saying. Usually during the streams, I don't talk because I do rage a lot and I do use a lot of profanity. So I try to control my uh, language. Uh, I mean, it is what it is, but, anyways, I'm waiting for my computer to boot up so I can see y'all's comments or you guys' comments. Okay, or she here. Come on, come on, come on. Of course, this game was developed by Rockstar Games. Y'all don't know that. I don't know why they quit making them. Uh, let's see. I did play the second the sequel to this game. It was terrible. A lot of bugs and everything. Maybe because I rented the rented the game from a rental place. Maybe that's what the problem was. I don't know. But, uh, anyways, uh, let me go ahead and log into my YouTube account here so I can look at these wonderful comments. Come on, YouTube, load up. Oh, boy. Last time I streamed, my pixelation was just terrible. I don't, I don't know what it was. You know, I still don't know what it is. Just my pixelation on my freaking stream was just freaking terrible, man. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm logging into my YouTube account now via PC. Let's see what we got here. Blah blah blah. Here we go live. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let me go ahead and fix this on 720 HD. I don't know. Sometimes it just it does something random. Okay, so if the, if the stream's horrible, I apologize. So anyways, the only thing I don't like about this game is the invert button. You know up is down and down is up that's just what really what throws me off and you can't change it change it which is freaking bogus anyways nothing with no further ado let's go ahead and get to the stream thank you for tuning into my channel let's go ahead i'm gonna try to speed run through this i mean i haven't played this game in about five months but it's a good game all right you all ready grab some popcorn get your soda this game plays like a freaking movie awesome story uh, rocks yeah you know, i don't know who developed the game i was Rockstar is the publisher of this game. Of course, here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and start a new game. Oh, a new game. Yes, new game. For the fugitive. Alright, I'll shut up now. <sighs> Max Payne. TSM, hello. Thank you for joining first. Just recently did a long play on this game. Oh, cool. I love this game too, man. Between Resident Evil 4 and this game, I mean, I don't, I can't really uh, flip a coin in these two games. But you're right, it's a good game. Good story. I hate the baby crying part. We have to go to the maze and. They were all crying. dead. That's annoying. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. By the way, uh, Max Payne uh, is, is... 
To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Oh, come on, man. This is ridiculous. So it's one of the developers back in the day for, that were for Rockstar's face, faces. I just... I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. You're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle? Honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house. Front row center. The guy who played in Nid Max was... Sam Jake Danish guy. Well, he was? Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you. You know, what I love about people who come in here and do chat is the fact I learn things. I love learning things, man. I, You know, I can't speak a different language, but, you know, I, I, I like people who come in here and basically in, uh, in, impel my, uh, my knowledge, you know. It's always good. Hey, thank you for that. I did not know that. Because, you know, it's like, you know, gamers are everywhere now these days. I don't care how old they are. It's like gaming is part of everybody's life now. And we can sit there around the table and talk about games. I'm telling you, it's just the best subject. You know, other other people talk about football, the NBA, blah blah blah. We, and then you have, but when you start talking about video games, yeah, you know, it's like video games is like everybody everybody can relate to a video game, and it's just basically good conversation. Thank you for that. Uh, the words of knowledge, my brother. Um, Anyways, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, I'm gonna try not to talk, all right? So I'm gonna mute my mic. If you comment, I'll respond. Okay, here we go. What the hell? Tattooed on the wall, a map Pixelate of things to come. Sucks. I don't know what a poison the syringe, is. a magic sucks, tag man. full of diabolical uh, meanings. I gotta find out why the pixelation on my streams are horrible. I'm telling you, it's just ridiculous. I have it set at 60 frames per second. I don't know what the heck's going on here, but my YouTube videos here recently just look like garbage. It looks like when you swim in a chlorine pool for a couple hours, you get out, your eyes are bloodshot red, and everything's hazy. That's what it looks like. And I apologize, guys. Hopefully, oh, you know what? I'll leave my mic and just make the experience a little bit better. People are like, I want to hear your voice. Okay, we'll talk. All right, I'll use my voice. Okay. But uh, I won't say much. This is what gets me. Up is down. Up is down, and down is up. That's what gets me. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the Payne residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- God, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello?
Michelle! No! Shut up! Obama. NYPD's dropped! I'm gonna hurt you! This is what gets me. Up is freaking down. Ah! So freaking confusing, man. I hate games like that. Let me read the comments right quick. Uh, hey, ask what you you playing on. It's the PC or P, uh, PS2. I can drop the uh, setting over if you like. I'm actually playing on the PlayStation 2, brother. I am on the PlayStation 2 platform. Okay, hold on. It's for the PlayStation 2, right? But I bought it from the PlayStation 4 store. Okay, here you go. The flesh of fallen angels! Okay, hold on. Do I got any pills? Seriously, I forgot how to play them. Oh, shit. Dude, dude. I keep thinking I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. It is a Rockstar game, so. No, 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 God, no, oh, God, please, no. Michelle. Oh, baby. Michelle, Mama, no. Okay. Oh, okay, that's good, that's all good. Hey, subscribe to my channel, man. I do all sorts of video games. Sometimes I'm not as charismatic or uh, sociable on the mic. I mean, don't, I mean, don't, don't hold it against me. If you do, okay, if you don't, I'm cool with that. But I play all sorts of video games. No! So what I'm gonna have to do tonight is I'm gonna have to do my homework and why my pixelation sucks on my new streams. They just started doing it recently. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. You know, I had a comment the other day, we are here a while back, and they say that they miss their, their YouTubers, you know, their, their, their YouTube channels, you know, the ones that, are, that made it big. Who, uh, they just miss the fact that they don't do less play. I came in from the cold and the dark. Let's play Outside something. the city was a cruel monster. You know what? I'm not trying to. Be I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. One of the Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. Like the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. That's the only thing I don't like about you. I'm, 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 people keep encouraging me to go to Twitch you need to because meet with Alex we can be involved. The Roscoe Street Even Station. then, I hadn't had a face to face with Alex now, since I got him to cover. I'm not saying that I'm going to do something bogus. I'm just saying that to me, I have the bare, mental barrier. Outside, the mercury was falling so. fast. Like it was colder somebody. than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. But Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My beret stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Yeah, yeah, you're laughing at that. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station. For some reason, I went to go see my first slasher movie when I was like. Was, uh, I think I just, yeah, I was 19 years old. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. Movie. I'd have to look for him. Screen two. Was it screen two? Yeah, it was screen two. And uh, anyways, to make the story short, I, you know, it was the girlfriend at the time. And anyways, I love the Scream franchise. I haven't seen the MTV version of Scream, uh, but I do love the Scream movies. Some people say, ah, eh, the first one. The second one, stuff. Blah, blah. I like all the screen movies, man. So, anyways, going back to your like, laughing out loud. Yeah, I went with Billy Loomis. You know, the the movie came out in '96, and it was Billy Loomis. There. Now you know how I got my name. Billy Loomis is actually my alias name. It's not really my name. It's just my alias, name. AKA YouTuber doing that, being ass. Okay. All right. So let's just go ahead and uh, be serious. Now, 
this is what confuses me. Up, you see? Ah, oh, this is confusing. Ugh, okay. Up is down. Okay, down is up. It's just so confusing. I gotta get my mind set on that. How do you fire a weapon? Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. There's a guy in here, right? No, it's not. I need some pills. I need some pills. Grab it, Max. There you go. It's just so difficult to play this game. You can't change your inver buttons at all. Which sucks. So I wish the one they remastered was a good time. I mean, is it the analog? I don't know. What'd you say? Uh, R1 fire. Okay, thank you, thank you. Look at you. I love you. You're so awesome. Okay, cool. R1 to fire. <coughs> R1, dipshit. Not L, all L2. Uh, thank you so much. Boxes for you. Open the cabinet, Max. X opens the cabinet. The pills would ease the pain. The pills would ease the pain. Oh, it's going to be a long road to paradise here, guys. Because there's just this... Oh, this, this control just sucks. Alright, so here we go. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having to... What the? What the? We're talking about Desert Eagle. The Z Desert Eagle and Modern Warfare 2 suck, man. It, it just it looked promising, but that gun, that pistol sucks. Yeah. Modern Warfare. 2. He's dead, all right. Hey, it's what the? Oh, damn. I love this bullet time. And what's awesome is, I think, I mean, I'm not, I haven't played PC games. Don't be wrong about that. You know, I still Yo, guys. I Yo, know. guys. Hey, I know you're we the around. Time time you hear me? Now. What is this, a joke? Hey! Bullet Anybody? Time. Don't you wish life had bullet time? That'd be awesome. Yeah, someone's gonna say, hey, Billy. Life does have bullet time. Just do some crack. Uh, now I'll pass. Okay, I gotta switch right now.
Very deceiving here. I know the master of circle. Believe it's the pills. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my friend. You got a hey, you got a channel? I'm gonna subscribe, dude. You seem pretty awesome. I'm gonna go to your channel right now. Go to your channel, I'm gonna subscribe because you're very helpful. You got uh seven hundred okay, I'm gonna subscribe to your channel. You got a new subscri oh I'm already subscribed to your channel. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm already subscribed. I didn't even know I was subscribed to your channel. Okay, deodorant, get out of the way. Oh, oh, get away. Get away from the mouse, deodorant. Alright, let me go back. She says, the circle is the pills, right? No circle? Maybe I don't have any pills. Alright, here we go, here we go. This is it, guys. Pull what was it. that? It's nothing, relax. Time crime operation. Now I'm bleeding out. Uh, I think you did. I watched uh, Taken Tag. Oh, that was you. Yeah, I remember that. Yes, and I was told. Yes, yes, I do remember. You're. Yes, I remember you. You and your friend were subscribed to my channel. I, I remember that. Yes, that's correct. And yeah, okay. Well, all right. Well, you know what? I remember that now. You're right. That's that's where I met. That's where I met you. And I wasn't doing voice chat. I was doing texting. So now this is the first time you heard my voice, right? Yeah, this is my voice, man. All right. So um, I guess I'm out of pills here. Uh, I go here. Kiss it goodbye. No. Man. Who the hell? Ah! Ooh. Love that bullet time crap, man. Especially when the guy goes flying. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. Oh. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Uh, I'm doing bad, dude. Uh, give me some pills, man. Give me some pills, give me some pills, man. I'll get some ammo. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna make it, dude. Another locker. Oh, I'm crying, dude, because I'm gonna die. Okay, let's go upstairs. Whoa, whoa. You know that train sounds like drum rolls? That's exactly what it sounds like. It says, I do, you don't ATM mo. You see them near the hourglass and numbers. Okay, I got you. Uh, did watch. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want. You know, you're the one that wanted me to play Tekken Tag. You know, I still need to. You wanted me to use. Or I think you wanted me to use Orgy. Was that you? They wanted me. Is it Orgy or Orger? I forgot. The guy, you know, the Amazon God. Was that you that made that request? I don't remember. Cause there, there were uh, a handful. Of hey, yeah. <laughs> Pick up his gun, I guess. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, I keep going. Now they're hiding. Some foot lockers, man. Come on, man. Look at this. Some breaking bars. Tell you right now, it's gonna be a bumpy ride me playing this game. It's like, oh, man. figure it out. What's getting me is that freaking game. Right. Oh, I don't know how I'm 
gonna savor my pills, man. I'll use another one. train lit up like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. Alright guys, let's get serious. You know, that's one thing I don't like about video games now. You know, back in the day, and I know I sound like I'm regurgitating stuff, but when you were a kid, you bought a video game, and it was word. It was, it was basically. Um, it was basically what someone said, you know, word by mouth, I guess. Once they know. And then, or you saw the game behind the glass case. You saw the picture. The game looked awesome, and you just basically hoped for the best. You got home and played the game, and the game had nothing to do with the freaking picture. There was, the definition was way off, and you hated it, right? And then, finally, the internet came, and you were like, we were able to basically watch people's rants about the video game, right? So, you basically, my, it's like, you watch three videos, and you base your opinion by those three videos. Now, the developers, what they do is to develop a game, charge you $60, and they tell you, well, the game's not complete yet. That's the kind of crap we're dealing with these years. The game's not complete yet. Then why the heck did you freaking put the game on the shelf for $60 if the game's not complete? That's just basically my complaint. Bull crap. Bull crap. I miss the good old days. That's not like an old man. I miss the good old days. And I do. I sure do, man. I miss the good old days. Okay, apparently I can't go that way, so I gotta go back from where all the pain started. I gotta move out of this town, man. This town's getting loud, man. Music blaring at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm telling you, man, I gotta go. How do I jump? How do I jump? No, you dummy! Jump! I am doing shots, so I'm gonna do another shot. Uh, I do drink when I play. I don't know why I do. It's like you know, I drink when I am I'm in a good mood. I don't drink when I'm like I went through like a dramatic situation. I don't do that, but I do drink when I'm happy because I know I'm not gonna get screwed up. And I'm not an alcoholic. I just you know drinking is part of my culture. So uh, anyways, uh, we knock the wall down. Go to the wall. Driving L2 jump. Hey! Hey, get out of here! Oh! Oh! Ah! I don't know why I used my last pill. I wanted to reload. You know, one thing about this game is you have to savor your freaking pills. If you don't, you're gonna screw yourself up. I do. Savor your pills. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station closed off since the early 40s. 
Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. <coughs> One way or the other, I was going to find out. So beautiful, man. I don't care what anybody thinks. This game is beautiful. Hold on, what'd you say? You said, What state are you in? I am from Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee, my friend. Yes. Memphis, yes. Yeah, one of the things I don't like doing on YouTube, I don't get personal with anybody. You know, I'm barely a channel, but I've had people say, Hey, Billy, are you going to ever do an appearance? I said, No, why? And I'm like, I'll never do it up here. And so like, oh, you know, it's like, I'm not trying to be famous, guys. I'm just doing this for fun. I've had people want to donate to my channel. And I don't know if they're trying to troll me or what, but I've had people wanted to donate to my, no, donate to my channel. I said, if I ever hit a thousand, I'll do a Patreon. But if I have to pay Patreon and I'm getting no, no, no donations, I'm just going to quit Patreon. I don't know how Patreon works or PayPal works, but if I have to pay them a monthly fee just to have their service and I'm not getting any money in. That's bad. That's bad. You oh, think? I'm not doing this for yeah. money. And I've, listen, and I said too, if I ever get people sending me money via Patreon or PayPal, um, what I would do. Look, look at the picture. No! Oh, God. Just kill my look at this. I'm barely making it, dude. I can't take this to the streets. So what I said, what I was gonna do, look at this pixelation, it just sucks. I'm watching I'm watching my stream and the pixelation sucks. Let me check my settings on YouTube. I don't understand this thing. I'm gonna have to watch a video on this crap. Yeah, I'm live, you dumb piece of crap, YouTube crap, bull crap, donkey crap. I don't know how to do this, man. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Awesome. You're from the home of the king? Uh, Elvis, you talking about Elvis Presley? You know, Elvis Presley wasn't the king of rock and roll. You know that, right? You know, Elvis Presley was not the king of rock and roll. All right. I mean, I am. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Elvis Presley. Okay, I got you. Yeah, it's... Hey, yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah. I'm dead, bro. No pills. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I know he's in there. Come on. Sorry yourself. He shoots me one time. I'm dead, dude. There's, there's no sequel here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna do the following if I just rig up. I know there's a guy with Uzi. Oh shit. shit oh, uh, where is he? Oh, that was close, man. I'm telling you that invert crap throws me off every freaking time. I need some freaking pills, man. I really do. If I wanna survive this. I love my weapon. I'm doing terrible. Let me try to creep out, creep in, creep. I like this guy's ringtone, this mo uh, monotone ringtone. I wish I could get it on my like phone. Like Lapino. Now that's spooky. Now Jack Lapino. Yeah, ringtone, spooky. Man, but also, it's like the failure count is rising. Yeah, I wouldn't joke about oh, it if I was you. I love that. Yeah. Guy. Takes me back to Nokia. You know. The station's not secured. Someone decided to play hero upstairs. That's all we need. Got him! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Ah! As I get hit by a freaking subway. I ain't talking about the subway. I'm talking about a real sub. One thing you want to do in this game. You want to get your lead pipe out and uh, lead pipe out? And... No, dummy! 
Lead pipe. Equip lead. There you go. There you go. Lead pipe. Sarsen. I keep hitting the wrong damn hard man. I got some shotgun ammo. Nothing. Nothing. And if I'm mistaken, I did miss. Uh, there is some pills back here that I missed, so. Nothing. That's a mammal. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. I'm gonna try to. It's because there's some crates I didn't uh, interact with, so I'm gonna go back over here for a minute or two. It's creepy, I know. Back here and just try to get these crates. I know there's some pills in these crates. I know there is. Take that here. What's in these freaking dividers here? Sad. Well, I guess that's it. Okay. Makes a lot of sense there. Oh, here's one. I'm telling you, this free. Hey, I know there's some pills in here. Alright, let's, let's restore our health a little bit. Switch weapons. Gonna get hot and heavy in his bank. Alright, uh, can you pick your weapon, Max? Ma Max. Pick your dang weapon, you moron. What? No, you idiot! Okay. R1 selects your weapons. God, I'm so freaking slow. Let me go back to the freaking I ain't gonna be me. I'll just keep my comments to myself. I'm telling you, you can't be yourself on YouTube. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. I wanted to say something funny. You know, I thought it would be funny if I said something. But someone said, yeah, it's offensive. It's not funny. I was like, oh. Okay, comments. Uh, I've not been in America yet. You haven't? Where you from, man? Where you from, my brother? Where you from? Okay, let me let me take a while, guess. You're from the UK, right? Are you from the UK? Chapter 2, Live from the Crime Scene, Part 1, The American Dream. Alright. So far, our our shins are bleeding out, but uh, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Oh, look at that. You said yep? Oh, my goodness. Uh, dude, that was just a wild freaking guess, man. Because you remember when you watched my Taken, my Taken Tag stream, it was like, what, 2 o'clock in the morning? my time so in the uk it had it been what two o'clock in the afternoon i'm not sure because i did you know i did that take and tag stream like at two o'clock or one o'clock in the morning i think it was three o'clock i don't remember my time so. hold on here give me the detonator what are you talking about the detonator i thought you'd bring it you were supposed to what dude i was creeping in what the heck man you died jerk ah! i saw You took it better than me. He's gonna throw an eight. Thought I was gonna die. Stupid rat. <laughs> Stupid rats, man. You said, hey, well, it's 6 p.m. here. What time do you have, my brother, in Tennessee? Uh, let me get my phone. You know what? I need to get a freaking clock, really, because I get tired of looking at my phone. I need to get me a freaking clock. A wind-up clock. It's 11.55 right now. 11.55. What is it? 11.55 a.m. my time right now. I'm off today and tomorrow, so I don't know how many streams I'm going to do, but uh, you're probably going to catch me on a stream around 2 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but I don't know what's wrong with my pixelation. 
My pixelation sucks. I don't know what's going on, man. It's really bothering me. So those guys are dead. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. There's pipes. I got, I got, let me get a pipe right quick. All right, let's go ahead and hit these crates. Oh, God, come on, man. No pills? I need some pills, man. I'm dying here. Dude, this pipe sucks, man. I have no pipes. Alright, let's go. Alright, I got a shotgun. It's gonna get bad when I go down here, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna get pretty bad. He said... Yeah, I know, six hour difference. Yeah, I agree. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest are gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. In and out, do your thing. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Jeez. Easier said than done. I Dude, dude. I think I'm gonna pass this chapter. Gotta be careful. Study your shots. Sure! Yeah, yeah. Sure! What the hell? There's another guy in there, by the way. He's waiting for me to get in that doorway. So you can pull him up right side. Alright. Alright, the coast is clear. Yeah, now I gotta open the door and see these vaults. Bank robber score lay on the table. Let's read this crap, shall we? Here we go. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Come on, Max. I thought I had to interact with that. Apparently I don't. Well, I need the detonator to uh, blow up the door to get out of here. I already picked, picked up the Well, I guess I'm pretty here. So.
come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. I gotta find out why my pixelation on my videos suck, man. I really do. You know, when I started doing these YouTube videos via through the PlayStation 4, the videos were beautiful. Now they just freaking look murky and crappy. down the stairs. I already know that, so I gotta be careful. These guys love uh, utilizing grenades. Throw a grenade. See, he's getting ready to throw one. Right? Come on, throw a grenade. What? How that? Come on, dude. Oh, he's gonna throw another one too, by the way. Watch. Okay, that's it. I had it. Part one, the American dream. Oh, well, it was worse back. Do I have to go back in the vault to do that crap again? I don't know. Hopefully not. I hope not. I thought you'd bring it. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. Oh. Killed his own. Yeah, yeah. It shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. We know that, Max. Shot off shotgun. Pixelation sucks, dude. I am so sorry, man. Freaking pixelation sucks on my videos, man. I don't know what the heck is, man. I don't know what's wrong with my freaking. Maybe it's my internet. I don't okay, know. Okay, fellas. The, the police are on their way. Freaking New York's crazy. finest. They're gonna be here soon. Just stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. In and out. Do your thing. Wham bam. Thank you, man.
bank robber score lay on the table. The bank robbers had been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. bank robbers had left their tools on the table. <laughs> Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, I'm glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes.
Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight through the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why this is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes.
Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squat plan. The don't answer. 
It's where I'm, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Cane in the butt. Ha <laughs> ha! Cane to the max! Joe Squad King, got a ticket of Marvel City for you. E first and lying down. Bring it up! A letter on the desk caught my eye. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! Vigilio! You all right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now! Bosses! We're coming in! <laughs> I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagniti. Gagniti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security. Locked doors and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Thank you. 
conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal, as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Something's wrong with the bosses. Payne's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Payne's gonna pay in spades. And ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. <laughs> oh. My lady. My lord. Max Payne? moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves, blazing like the colors of your air. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you, this cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord, it is too dreadful. <laughs>
piece of crap! <laughs> Ooh. This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I'd missed the show. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. Here stated that Valkyr represents... Morte had received a letter. Take it easy!
Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. God damn! I thought it was a bomb for sure! Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> I thought it was a bomb!
hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. It was freaking crazy. The cops were doing a full-scale siege next door. More traffic than rush hour. I mean, bleeding bastards running back and forth, Ronnie and Jimbo to throw, and in the middle of all this, there we were. I didn't give a damn, just going with the flow. So what happened? Nothing happened. We got the explosives, dumped the cargo, we were home free. Jesus. Whack the sucker! Winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire.
the old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. It was freaking crazy. The cops were doing a full-scale siege next door. More traffic than rush hour. I mean, bleeding bastards running back and forth, Ronnie and Jimbo to throw, and in the middle of all this, there we were. I didn't give a damn, just going with the flow. So what happened? Nothing happened. We got the explosives, dumped the cargo, there! A winter storm warning is in effect and the whole truck Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip.
Take vampire movies. Why are they always set in L.A. or Mexico? They can't even get a tan. If I was a bloodsucker, I'd move to the North Pole. Went this one long night. Yeah, and what would you eat? Suck blood from penguins? Nah, Eskimos, man, Eskimos. Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where they are. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Tears of green-eyed angels. Amen. Time ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. There was a key on the table. Dirty money. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr.
two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. The antique switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, Cornelius, this Max Payne. He came, started capitalist. He killed him. Oh. Are you freaking kidding me? He's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large.
Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were gonna get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover.
The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. The building was rigged with explosives.
A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of the manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. True, true. You said. Without a key, I'd never get past this door. I needed a key to get past the locked door. Someone had left a letter on the counter. There was a key on the shelf. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self, all talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back.
the bombs that destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. <laughs> yes, sir. It's the end of the world as... To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. Shoot! I, I... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. I know them, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay.
It's me. Open up. Let me in, quick. Not so fast. The password. John who? Come on. Okay, John Wu. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! It's a New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyr-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Rivera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NYCNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. This week on Address Unknown. I don't want to go there. It's what the up? last place I'd want to end up. What? But that's where I always end up. Oh. It's not me talking to Pink Flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The Flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, there's a whole hunt and television. 
that mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. <laughs> and I, not me, but my double, nods and smirks at this like it was the fun. <laughs> 